بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now most of the common attacks coming from the internet will be relating to either the email based or the web traffic so initially here we'll be focusing on web based threats like uh, typically the end user may download some kind of malicious traffic can be viruses or the malware and those uh, those particular traffic or the malicious softwares which gets downloaded to the end user machine and after that it will be executed in the back end which can impact the performance of the devices or maybe uh, cause some kind of data leakage where your database files or maybe some passwords will be shared automatically without the knowledge of the users and also some other issues like the employee productivity where the end users might be accessing uh, traffic from uh, most mostly spending time on social media sites or maybe the news websites where you may want to deny the employees from accessing some of these specific sites now now mostly uh, the the possible web web based threats can be like like attacker is uh, maybe a user or uh, end user may may go to the specific uh, website which is um, which might be a website which contains a lot of malware and maybe he gets some downloaded downloaded some of the malicious traffic onto the end user but typically will configure some firewalls or some other devices probably to deny Uh, there any traffic coming from specific urls which contains the malware but now the other possibility is the end user may actually get downloaded uh, some malware from the valid websites like let's take an example there is a website end user and maybe you are trying to access some uh, facebook.com or maybe you are trying to access some kind of xyz server which is a valid server so what attacker will do is attacker will will try to introduce some kind of malicious traffic into the web servers and where the end user when he's trying to access that valid web server uh, the end user may get downloaded uh, some kind of malicious traffic along with the web page uh, again typically this uh, this server is actually a valid server on the internet so the attacker now now typically the web based attacks are more more enhanced in today's networks where the attacker break into the valid website and probably they they send some kind of malicious traffic into that so when the end user get into that website probably may get may get install those kind of malware which can cause uh, to some data leakage or maybe some some other issues so typical examples you can say maybe you visit some valid website and it will prompt you to download the ad of flash and, and you'll see some messages like that of flash ad of flash your running is out of date and you may end up thinking that Uh, it might be a valid request so you end up installing that particular tools so some kind of java scripts or maybe you download some kind of pdfs uh, which can contain some kind of malicious traffic or even you will see some ads on the facebook or any other uh, links which will which may contain some malicious traffic and you may think that it might be a link which redirect to the news or any other uh, some information probably you end up installing those malicious traffic so which will redirect to some or uh, different websites or maybe some run some kind of applications in the backend so i got some more information like if you try to get into this uh, annual security reports from cisco probably from other websites you see uh, this is like a report says that from around 19.7 billion threats will be blocked daily and of course per yearly so it's going to and it's keep on increasing so most of this 85% of the companies affect each month because of this malicious browser extensions you end up installing because of some extensions inside the browser and one more possible threat is like most of the web pages nowadays are encrypted so it becomes more and more difficult to monitor the traffic which is actually encrypted so you most of the websites are are providing some encryptions and maybe there is a possibility that some kind of malicious traffic is hidden as a part of encryption and that is something most of the Uh, web traffic gets undetected